What is up YouTube? It is your boy GG man. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are having a blessed day and a blessed week. Your boy's been blessed, all glory to God. But in today's video, we're gonna go ahead and do a part two of my story time. If you haven't seen part one, go ahead and click this link up here. Make sure you watch that video first. Come back and watch this one. I love you guys. I appreciate all your love and support. And let's hop into the story. Let's get it, man. Let's get it. So this guy starts walking up to my door and he gets to my my front window and he just starts knocking on my window and there I am super nervous I start cranking my window because it didn't have the automatic window you had to like turn it and twist it for the window to come down so there I am twisting it twisting it so I slowly start rolling down my window finally I roll down my window and he goes is this your car Bruh. and I'm like yeah this is my car uh, I didn't understand why he was asking me this. Um, I was like, yeah, it's my car. Why else would I be in it? He goes, oh, okay. I was wondering because I'm from the church. And remember, guys, I parked in front of the church. So when he said, I'm from the church, I immediately thought he was going to be like, oh, you're not supposed to be parking here. Or this is private property. You can't be parking like in our spots because I parked right in front of the church. And he goes, um, I noticed that there was these two men. He goes, I noticed these men were like looking through your window and they were trying to open it and like pick at the doors. And basically they were trying to break into my car. Um, he goes, um, I got suspicious so I walked up to them. So this guy walks up to these two Mexican guys uh, that are basically trying to break into my car. And he goes, are you guys like what's going on like what are y'all doing and i guess he asked them like are y'all trying to break into the car or something because he told me that they said oh no like this is our car we just locked our keys in there and we're trying to get it open Bruh. can you believe that these dudes really sat there and lied uh they said that it was their car and that they locked their keys so they're there like picking at the door and I guess finally they gave up or they they realized that there was people getting suspicious. So he said that they left. It was, they, he said that they were in a black suburban. He said they left and they kind of circled around the parking lot a little while. He said that they parked and they were kind of just waiting there. And when he, when he says that, it leads me to think like what if they were waiting for me or like to see who the owner was to come like that could have like that potentially could have been dangerous like all jokes aside that could have really been uh a very dangerous situation because imagine they're waiting there so maybe they're waiting for the owner to come out and maybe i don't know maybe rob them or something so he tells me that they they park and he's like getting suspicious then finally they leave and I'm just like, wow, like I was just shot. I was sitting there like listening to everything he was saying. I'm just like, wait, what is even going on? Like, I don't know what to believe, like what's going on. I finally, I kind of like recuperated, wrapped my head around everything. And I was like, okay, I need to get out of here. <laughs> I need to get out of here, time to skirt. So I drove off, um, I start heading home and my house from Golden Walk is about, I'd say like 40 minutes away. Uh, I live kind of far from San Antonio, so I have a long commute. And during this time, like I said, I was still in high school. I had just got my first car. During this time, I did not have my driver's license, guys. I did not have my driver's license. What I had was a, a driver's permit that basically tells, uh, that basically says that I, I'm allowed to drive as long as there's someone in the car who has a license, who has an actual license. As long as someone who has a license is in the car, I could drive. That's all I had. But not only that, it was expired. It was expired by like months. So um, legally, I wasn't supposed to be driving on the, on the road. So there I am going, going to my house. And since um, I had just started driving, I was not really familiar with the roads and how to get home and stuff. I only knew one way home and that was the only way I knew how to get home uh, because you know I just started driving I wasn't familiar with the roads or anything the highways or what like it, it was confusing so uh, there I am driving remember it's like 10 11 o'clock at night I'm driving and I notice that there is construction going on 
and it's blocking the way that I go home that way I normally go home so I'm just like what the heck man like like they're blocking the only way I know how to get home I'm driving and I, and I decided to call my dad because my dad is like a human GPS he used to be a truck driver uh, so he knows all the roads and everything so I call my dad I'm just like dad they blocked off 410 which is the highway that leads to my my home so he's trying to explain to me what to do and where to go and my dad easily gets frustrated so easily he kind of got frustrated and i just kind of like got um annoyed and finally i'm just like okay whatever i was like i'm just gonna put it on the gps see what happens so i'm putting on the gps uh it tells me to go this way and so i go i'm starting to drive right I remember it's 10 o'clock i'm driving i'm driving and all of a sudden i miss my exit because remember i have no idea where i'm going i only know one way to go home and i'm just going through these roads that i've never been through before so there i am driving and i miss my exit i'm like oh man i missed my exit and it's telling me to make a u-turn so i was like okay i'm gonna i'm gonna exit on the next exit and turn around finally i see an exit and i exit but it, when I exit, it was like a long dark road that didn't lead to like any buildings or like laid up buildings. So I'm like, instead of driving all the way down there, finding a place to turn around, I'm like, I'm just gonna bust the UE right here. There's no cars around. You know, I'm just gonna do it right here. It's gonna save me some time. So there I go. I exit, um, I see that there's no cars around. So I'm like, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and bust the UE. So I bust the UE, there I go. And as I'm turning around, I see headlights in my rearview mirror, like there's a car exiting. So I'm like, oh snap, I need to hurry up and, and make a U-turn so you know they don't hit me or I don't have to make them stop. So I turn around, um, I get on the other lane and I'm driving and then all of a sudden, I'm driving towards the car and all of a sudden you just see the cop car's lights turn on. Oh my God. The cop car's lights turn on. I'm just like, oh my god, it was a cop guys, it was a cop, I was so, oh my god, this was one of the craziest nights ever. So I bust the Yui, and I see these headlights come out, All right, I'm, so I bust the Yui, and I notice these headlights coming down the exit, and it had to be a cop, it had to be a cop. You always get pulled over in like the worst situations, so it was a cop guys, they turn on their lights they turn around I, I know I parked and the cop comes and parks so I'm just like oh my god I literally have nothing I have all they have is a driver's permit that says I have to be driving with someone who has a license and I'm not even driving with someone who's licensed so I'm already in trouble and not only that it's expired guys it's expired I'm not even supposed to be on the road I'm thinking like I'm in big trouble right now. I'm just like, oh my God, this day could not get any worse. It literally could not get any worse. And imagine, put yourself in my shoe. Imagine you don't have a license, you don't have anything, you're driving, you bust a Yui, and you get pulled over by the cops. It is the worst feeling ever. Like my heart just dropped all the way down to my stomach and I'm just like, what is about to happen? So at that point, I just accepted it. I was like, all right, they caught me, I'm in trouble. Now I need to face the consequences. I'm thinking, I'm not even gonna try to lie or anything. I'm just gonna tell them the truth. I'm just gonna tell them the absolute truth. There's no getting out of this. I'm sitting in my car, nervous. They pull behind me and I'm just like, dude, like the ultimate guilt, like I shouldn't have, I shouldn't have busted Yui and I'm thinking, if only there was no construction, I'd be at home probably right now. So I'm sitting in my car and all of a sudden, the cop comes on my passenger side, knocks on my window, I roll it down, and I just have this big old flashlight. You can imagine like a flashlight just in your face. They're shining the flashlight all up in your face and you can't even see. And I noticed that it's a female cop and she goes, did you know that you bust a Yui? You're not supposed to be doing that. And I go, yeah, I know. And the only thing I could say was, I'm just trying to get home. Like, I just wanted her to understand that, look, I'm just trying to get home, I'm lost. I'm just, I just want to go home. I don't mean to break the law or anything, but I just want to get home. That's all I'm trying to do is get home. The thing I could say was, 
I'm just trying to get home. That's all I could say. I was full of shame. I was embarrassed. I was just like, I'm just trying to get home. And literally, guys, all she said was, all right, don't let it happen again. And she walks off, guys. She walks back to her cop car and leaves. God was on my side that night. Literally, all I said was, I'm just trying to get home. And literally, she was just like, all right, don't let it happen again. And she leaves. I was just like, a huge sigh, sigh of relief, guys. I was just like, like, I was about to get in so much trouble. She didn't even ask for my ID. She didn't ask for anything. She didn't ask what my name was. She didn't ask to call my parents. All she said was, all right, don't let it happen. I remember all I said was, I'm just trying to get home. And when she said that, I just had a huge sigh of relief. I'm just like, oh my God. Like that could have ended so bad. I could have maybe even got detained or something for driving illegally. That she literally, all she did was, all right. She gave me a slap on the wrist. Literally, she didn't ask for anything. She didn't ask for my name, my ID anything insurance she didn't ask for anything guys she was just like all right don't let it happen again um so there i went i went home and i remember i went to my parents room and i woke them up and i told them what happened i was like yo like these guys uh tried stealing my car and stuff and i never told them that i got pulled over so if they're watching this they this is the first time they heard of this um i never told <laughs> i never told them that i got pulled over but now they know, now they know I got pulled over. Maybe I'm gonna get in trouble after this video. But yeah, guys, that is my story of how my car almost got stolen, crazy story. Uh, hopefully you guys learn from it. Uh, be careful guys, be safe. Park in lit areas, um, don't stay out too late. Don't drive without any license. Just be careful guys, be safe. Uh, you know, I care about you guys. You're a part of the family, you're a part of my family, believe it or not. Hopefully you guys stay blessed. That's going to be another video and peace out guys. I'll see you in the next one. Peace. What is up you guys? If you made it to the end of the video, you're the real MVP. You're amazing. You're a legend. If you're not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. Click on my face. There's going to be a button right here. Make sure to click on it. Subscribe. I appreciate it, all your love and support. Also, check out these videos that I have here. Uh, some of my favorite videos. Make sure to check those out. I know you're going to like them. Go ahead and click on that with your finger, with your thumb, with your pinky, whatever you want. Slap that video. Check it out, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out. I love you guys.